Hi, I'm Bonnie Lynn Linky, your independent stamping up demonstrator, and welcome to my craft night in my studio. All right, I'm excited about tonight. You see in the background there over my shoulder, there's the new annual catalog. Um, if you haven't received one and you're my customer and you've ordered in the past year, let me know because I will get you one. And um, if you haven't received one and would like one, then please um, email me bonnie at bonniestamps.com and I'll tell you how you can go about and get it. So that's all it takes is a quick little email, bonnie at bonniestamps.com and it's B-O-N-N-I-E. So great. All right. I want to welcome all the people that are watching both now live and those who are going to be watching later on the YouTube channel or maybe even Facebook because the video stays up there. Um, I appreciate you joining and watching the video. It's going to be a fun card. Um, I've only made it once. So, and we're doing a totally different um, card design tonight for it. So that's going to be exciting. And I just want to let you know a couple things real quick. Take care of the business and get it out of the way. Um, the free card kit for this month, if you place a $50 or more product order with me, is the cutest cows. And what you do is you place an order. You use the host code, which, um, oh, let me put it out here so you can reach over here and grab it. You'll be able to see it when I um, go down to... Um, my desktop and also it should be in the details under the YouTube video and the other thing is I got notes over here last chance sale is going on for another mm, two weeks April 30th is the last day and there's a lot of merchandise that is marked down up to 60% off and it's so sad the price reduction is always great. Believe me, I look for sales, all that I can find. Um, but a lot of these products will be gone and you won't be able to get them again after that. Let's see. And we talked about the new annual catalog. Okay, product share. Your paper share, ribbon share, embellishment share. I sent out my email last night. Um, in the description under YouTube, there is a link to get to... Um, the pages where you can um, look at what's offered in it. And if you're not finding the full description of each paper and everything, just again, email me at bonnie at bonniestamps.com and I'll make sure that you get that. I don't have it on my blog yet, bonniestamps.com, but I should have it there by Wednesday. I was under the weather last week, so I feel a little bit behind and I'm trying to catch up now. So I'm offering a paper share, 97 papers. It's all the brand new designer series papers, excluding the core colors um, because they always come out with their own new um, designer series paper for all the 40 major co core colors and the two, two years of in colors. But I'll get to those in a minute. So the um, regular paper share, is forty dollars 97 papers and that includes everything but your shipping from me to you and they are six by six in size and if you want a double share of it it's 79 dollars. and what i do on the paper that comes to me in the 12 by 12 sizes i cut it down to only six by 12. that way you can get more out of it. It's all more usable that way, if that interests you. Shipping is $9.50 and it is pri priority mail shipped. And I put everything in a cellophane bag. I put on there the paper name, the item number, and I also list all the coordinating colors. And it is a cellophane bag that will reopen and close again so that you can open and close it and you can keep all your scraps in it. So each design, each paper, like Thoughtful Journeys, which is a paper we're using tonight, it would be in a cellophane bag. And then one of the other papers would be in a cellophane bag. So there's quite a few of them. 
I forget exactly how many papers there are. And then for the core colors, which are your um, subtles, regals, brights, and neutrals, plus the 2023 to 2025 in colors and the new 2024 to 2026 in colors, they have their own paper share. I didn't want to combine them because I wanted to keep the price affordable. If somebody only had $40 to spend, I want, wanted you to be able to take your choice of getting either all the designer series paper or all the core colors so that you could see everything. Um, but for the core colors and the end colors, that is 100 pieces of six by six papers. And it is $39 plus the $9.50 shipping. Now, if you want both the designer series paper and the core colors, the shipping remains at $9.50 for the two. But if you order like a double product share and a core color, um, it goes up to $13.50 because to do the six by 12 papers, they are more expensive to, um, to ship and their cost is $13.50 in case I said that wrong a moment ago. And then I am also doing an embellishment and ribbon share. What you get is two and a half yards of each spool of ribbon. Um, there is an exception to that. And that is the one that is a combo pack. On that one, you, you get one and one eighth yard of each of the two ribbons that are in there. So all told, you get approximately 20 yards of ribbon on the ribbon share, uh, the ribbon portion of it. And on the embellishments, you get a quarter pack. And the total cost for that is $56. Ribbon is wrapped around cardboard, so it's nice and neat. And your embellishments are all put in their own little Ziploc bag. And then if you only want the ribbon and not the embellishments, I do break that out. And the ribbon only is $20. So I know it's a lot of information. But it's everything that is new, lots of options so that you can pick out which one is best and most affordable for you. If you were to get everything, the shipping is, the most the shipping would be is $13.50. So you can combine, you know, if you want the designer series paper, you want the core colors with the end colors, and you want the embellishment and ribbon, your total shipping on that is just $13.50. Um, if I'm fine, I'm way off that I'm over, I'll make it up to you. And besides that, if you buy it all, you do get a surprise from me. Now, anybody who buys any one of my shares is going to get the cutest cow um, email tutorial sent to you, emailed to you. You don't get the kit, but you get the email tutorial. So... If you have any questions, I know it sounds kind of confusing, but it is. I do have it all in writing and I will have it all in writing on Wednesday on my website for you on my blog. So, OK, that's all that. So we're going to do a strip card today. A scrappy card strips. They are strips of paper, but let's call it a scrappy card. And let me switch the cameras over. There we go. Okay, this is one that I made yesterday. As I said, I feel way behind. And this, and this is it here, using the Latte Love stamp set, which I love the Latte Love, Love stamp set. I think it's really cool. Um, and I love they're saying, hello there, let's catch up. And then on the inside, it says, you're the best part of my day. So this is what we're going to make. And this one is landscape. But we're, what we're going to do, we're going to use the same pattern layout, but we're going to turn it around and make it a portrait one so that I can show you how to do that. So isn't it exciting? I am really excited over making this. And got me a piece of um, my paper down here to work on. So I'm going to move this. Let's see. There's my host code for April for you. I'll put that right there. See, and by having this paper here, I know exactly where my work area is. So, okay, we're going to start by doing the scrap piece. And let me make sure I grab the right piece of cardstock. Oh, I think I may have 
cut that a little bit the wrong size. Let me double check this. You want it to be three and seven eighths. No, that's right. <laughs> okay, that means I have the wrong size for the inside of the card. And we want it by five and one eighths. All right, looks good to me. So we're going to, and I'm actually going to lay it that way right there. And I need to grab my pencil. I need to be able to make a note. And let me see. I'm grabbing a piece of white cardstock too. Okay. So what we want to do is you want to cut up scraps. You either want to take scraps that you already have cut or you want to cut some more. And what I did is I cut some out of my Petunia Pop, which is brand new. It's one of your new in colors. And so is the Peach Pie. And I embossed the Peach Pie. And guys, um, when I looked at this embossing folder online, and I thought, oh, I don't know about it if I like it or not. This is it right here. I don't know if you can see that design. It's called So Swirly. And I just love the way it embosses. It is really cool. And look at this. It's eight and a half inches long by six inches. And you can have the design goes any way. You can have it go that way. But when I emboss these, I put my strips like so because I want it more the up and down look of it instead of the sideways. So I'm really excited about this embossing folder. I got a feeling I'm going to be using it a lot. And if you make um, the longer cards, I'm drawing a blank on what they're called, but you know, the like three and a half inches by eight or nine inches that fit in a business envelope, then you're going to um, love this. You really are because it will be great for that. And let me see, I'm pulling around with the cameras. All right, there we go. So let's see. Um, so those are two of your new in colors. I had at first embossed my peach pie with the 3D basic crosshatch, which I had used here on the Latte Love on my white cardstock. There you see it. But then I decided, oh, I need to try something different. I need to try one of the new embossing folders. So that's what I did. So we're going to move that out of the way. And then I cut, I went through my paper, which let me see, my paper's all over here. Because I didn't have any scraps of this yet because I hadn't used it. Um, so I just went out and I looked at all the different backs and everything. And I looked at the front and this paper is gorgeous. Um, I'll just go like so real quick so you can see some of it. Look at that. Isn't it? Oh, I love this piece. I love so many of the pieces. And I'm a pink and purple person. So with the um, peach pie and the petunia pop and the shades that they have them, this paper really speaks to me. You know, just using this paper on a card front. Look at that. And it's a mixture between Lost Lagoon and Lost Lagoon and Peacock Party or Peacock something. Um, these are great. I mean, I just, you know, I just think they're wonderful. So I think this is going to be a very popular paper and I think it's going to sell real quick and then it will be back ordered. But let's hope that doesn't happen. And it was pretty peacock, not peacock party. So I just picked me out some different ones I wanted to use. And I, I'm going to separate them. So you can see, I just, this, I like the back of this one. It's um, Blueberry Bliss. And these do go up. It's like there's, it's across the paper. Um, and the back is pretty too. So, you know, you can use anything you want to. And when you cut your papers, you want to have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 10 strips here. I cut a lot more than that. Um, 
I just don't remember where I laid the other strips out in case I wanted them. Oh, here they are. Here they are. Let me grab them. You want to have at least 15 strips to choose from because you want to make sure that you can get what you're looking for on your card design. So there we go. All right. So what I'm going to do, and actually I had those in order and now I, <laughs> now I don't. Okay. This is our scrap layer and it is three and seven eighths by five and one eighths. And we're going to start laying these out. I'm going to move the host code off the way. It's YES4C7HK. Okay. And then I'm just going to start laying some out. Now for this one, I want to make sure I'm going to cover this corner. And now on this one, I didn't leave any space between my strips, but if you want to, so that this layer shows underneath, you can, and I may do that this time. So, and we're just kind of laying these out to see what works. So I have that side with the tree, but I really like this side. So I think I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change. I'm not going to have it go down quite as far. I'm going to have it go like so. And let's see. I don't know. Let me try this one here. Yeah. See, and I'm okay with just the different colors there. Um, if I wanted to, I could bring it down and do it this way, which would look pretty. Hmm. You know what I think I may do? I think I may take that and put this one over here so that I got this one just like that. Yeah, I like that. And then I can come over here and I think I'll do that. That's too much like that one. I think I'll do that. You just figure out, you know, what you like and don't like. And I just want to do a couple pieces, I think, that way. Or do I want to do another one? I may move that. I don't know yet. So then we're going to... do a piece of paper there. Oh, I haven't put any of this one in yet. Ooh. Let me see. Hmm. I think I'm going to put this one in right here. And then I'll put another peach pie in right here. And we can put this one here. And then I'm going to do this one upside down so that it kind of goes there. Where's another piece of my tunia can go there. And I need one more. I can actually just take a scrap right there, or I can go just like so. Hmm. You know, I think I'm going to take this and use it right there, because I like that. And I'll use this one over here. There, I like that. Okay, now the reason why I wanted my pencil is because I wanted to know approximately 
how far to bring these down. And it's going to be to about right there. So and I'm trying to make it up high enough because I'll make sure I cover it. Okay. So I'm just going to move these up. I want to keep them somewhat in order. Okay. And then I got my silicone mat here that I'm going to put this on. Now, I really don't know to tell you which way is the best way to do this because you only want, you don't want to get glue if you're going to leave lines. You don't want glue in where the lines are going to be. So you just kind of take your time. I know that piece is going to go right there. And we'll just make sure that corner's covered. Okay, and then I think I'm just going to go ahead and put my glue on here. Now, when I did my other card, oh, oh here it is. When I did my other card yesterday, I put glue all over the paper because I was butting them up like that. But see, today, I just want to leave a tiny little space in there. And by working on my silicone mat, I know it's not going to stick to the paper and make a mess. Okay, and this one we're going to have go all the way up. So I'm pretty much going to put glue all over this one. I'm trying to keep it off my fingers. If I do, it will be a miracle. They do, miracles do happen occasionally. Okay, and there we go. Let's see. Try and scoot this one over. I do dipping on my fingernails. If you don't know what that is, it's a powder. And um, it's hard for me to pick things up <laughs> with them. But they don't split down the middle anymore, so that pleases me. Okay. So now we're going to take this and we're going to have it so it just covers there. And I'm going to leave a little purple line right in there. So we're going to go up about this high. So did you all have a good weekend? I sure hope so. We had, we had really nice weather. We hit up into the high 70s. It may have even hit 80 on like Friday or Saturday. Um, but it was really nice out. But now the wind is blowing really, it's really windy out. It's blown about 35 miles an hour and it's um it's no fun. And my cherry tree. Okay, I'm gonna get an eraser to erase that because I think it's a little bit lower than what this one was, and I wanna make sure it doesn't show. And if I use the eraser on my pencil. It just kind of smears it around. I'm not sure why. Ooh, okay, so I can do that or I can do this side. What do you think? I have that there, so I'll do so this side's up. Okay. Isn't it nice that you can just kind of pick out as you're going whatever you want to do? That's what I love about this paper. Now, if you do have the Simply Zinnia, um, stamp set and you have the zinnia paper to go with it I think that would make a gorgeous card I had hoped to get one made yesterday using that but I didn't um, that's I just love that paper and it's what it's probably my all-time favorite flower stamp set I love growing flowers, but I don't, 
And I love coloring with Stampin' Blends, don't get me wrong, but I don't like coloring flowers because they're so close together and really detailed. And I just sometimes find them hard to color, but I'm okay coloring that one. I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job with it. Excuse my arm against there. Okay, so now we're gonna start with this side here because I wanna make sure that I don't wanna start there because I don't wanna be short over here. So actually maybe we should start right here so I can get that spaced right. So we'll start with this one. But once you turn where you're on the side, you want to work from the middle out. You notice that on for this one, I started on the corner because I wanted to have that corner covered um, when I did it. And I'm just leaving a little space there, trying to line it up with the petunia pop. Uh, okay. That's a little bit longer, more of a space than what I wanted, but that's my fault. I wasn't guiding them good enough. That's okay. Look at this boho blue on the back. Isn't that pretty? My favorite colors are pink and purple. So <laughs> I think that's why I like, I think I said that earlier. I think that's why I like this set so much. And I think I got the glue. Yeah, I got the glue really high on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it so it doesn't stick to the paper. Set that aside. Okay. Now, if I wanted to, I could have butted that up right there, but I didn't want to. <laughs> I guess that's kind of obvious now. And we'll go ahead and do a little bit of this one. And if you don't want your strips quite so um, wide, then, you know, if you want to be able to get more paper, different types of papers in there, then, um, you know, make them an eighth of an inch or even a half inch would work instead of quarter inch. Okay. And then we're just going, I'm going to wait and let me see. Oh, I can just use this little bit right here because there's only a tiny bit right here where we need paper. I'm just going to put a dab of glue right in there. And I'm going to put this down because it's a real tiny piece that we need right there. And I'm actually going to move it so it's almost touching that piece of petunia pop to make sure I can get enough of it on there. All right. And then we're gonna take our peach pie and put that right there. So we're almost done here. The hardest part for me on this card was what the next step is, trimming off the excess with scissors. Um, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> and then we're just going to put, see, we're going to have a little bit left over right there. So I'll figure that out. What to do in a couple minutes. Okay, there we go. And you see that I have a little bit left in that one corner, but it's really a small piece. And here you can see where my paper's kind of stuck there. That's why I had the silicone mat down. Okay, this is gonna make my papers all gummy. Okay, I am gonna go ahead now and cut these off.
I am one of these people that have never been good at cutting straight with scissors. And that's why I'm glad I'm a quilter and I've quilted for a lot more years than I've made cards. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, that's why I am thankful that we have rotary cutters. and rulers to put them up against to cut straight. So, and I think maybe that's why I don't like fussy cutting is because I just find it so hard to do. Now, so yesterday when I didn't leave a space between the strips, um, I didn't have all this left, this glue on the back. But you'll be able to look at the Latte Love and this one, and you can see which way you would prefer to do it. Okay. I didn't think trimming off paper would be take so long. Okay. But for me, it does. Okay, let's see. There we go. That's pretty. Okay, we got that corner. Now, I don't like that. And what I'm going to do, whoops, I don't want to put that on there. Um, I'm going to just grab my trimmer real quick. And I'm just going to trim a tiny bit off of this side right here. And I mean, I'm doing a very small amount. I just have it where it's gonna, to the end, the edge of this, where the brown or the gray, whatever color it is, joins the white. So I'm just gonna cut that right there. And I may have cut this just a hair large when I cut my paper to begin with. And I got a little piece right there. So I'm going to trim up this side right here. I didn't want to do it when I had all the paper hanging because I knew I was going to do this because um, I need it to be able to clearly see the edges so that I got them straight. And that's why I didn't do that. Okay. So get my trimmer out of the way. I like that. That's pretty. What do you think? Okay. And then I'm going to use... Blackberry Bliss for my backdrop. Yes. So we'll just go ahead and glue these together. For those of you who use glue, you probably freak out at the way I do it. That I'm all slow and... <laughs> I don't know how people can move it around once they get it down. Mine seems to dry really quick. And I, and I know that's from putting it on so thin. But if I put it on thick, it squishes out. So I don't know. Let me go back to using my tear and tape. I do use, I use tear and tape on my other card. I just don't want to keep you here longer than what you have to be. As you can see, my monkey's sitting on my new stamps there. Some of them are new. Some of them are um, from the spring catalog. I like my monkey. Okay, now I need to decide which color card base. And the directions I've written, yes, I wrote directions before with the colors before I um, actually made the card. There it is with the Petunia Pop, which I love colored card bases. They're my favorite. The class I'm teaching Saturday, um, there's six cards in the sampler. And I think four of the card bases are colored ones. And two are the thick basic white. Okay, or we have this. Okay. Hmm. I don't know.
I don't know. I think I'm going to go with the petunia pop. But when you're watching this back on replay, I would have liked to know if you would have gone with the petunia pop or if you would have gone with the white. I know the white makes it pop a little bit more. Oh, and that's right. We're doing it this way. Let's see. I'm really undecided. When I'm undecided like this, I go and ask my husband, Terry, and let him decide. So that really makes it pop, though. So that means I may have to go back and change all my card directions if I do that, and that's extra work. But yeah, I, oh, I'm going to go with the petunia pop because I don't feel like the extra work tonight. So, But I, I would like to know what you would have done. Um, if you would have chose the white or the um, one that I just chose, the petunia pop. And because it's in color, I want to use it. See, I can come up with lots of reasons. Okay, you can pop this up on dimensionals if you want to. I didn't want to do it because it's going to be thick enough as it is because we're going to pop up the greeting on the front. And we've got a lot of layers right here. So I just um, thought it would mail better if I did it this way. Okay, so that's all done. And now what I've already done is I'm going to show you the dies for the Thoughtful Wishes. I went ahead and I cut out some of these. I cut out this one here, which has some flowers on the end. This one is um, leaves, which is really cool. This one reminds me of sticks like a branch with some green leaves on the end and then the leaves. So I'm going to show you what I cut out. Okay, the leaf one that I showed you, I cut it out of Lost Lagoon. See, now I didn't have any of these to cut together. So, you know, I was just trying to guess at what to do to cut out. And here is one out of the designer series paper. We can do that or we can do that. Let's see. And this is the one that I said was like the branches. There we go. And I thought I, oh, here's one that has like the flowers on it. So we could do that. This was the branch one. Wow, but I just think it's so pretty. Okay, so I, I was thinking of going with the designer series paper one, but after looking at this and then putting like this one on and maybe that one on, that adds some color and oh, the leaves. The leaves I had cut out of designers out of cardstock. So I don't think, I don't know if we'll use the leaves or not being sort of the cardstock. Had I done them out of the designer series paper, I probably would have used them, but I didn't. Okay, let me see. I think, okay, so there's that way. And let me see this one real quick. I know, decisions, decisions. That is so pretty though. I really like that one. I like all the different colors and everything. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the designer series paper, paper one this time. I don't know. Do you ever get like that? Do you have trouble making up your mind what to do? You watching this on replay, you're probably saying, Oh, Beverly, thank you. You like the petunia pop. Thank you. 
<laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use the designer series paper one and we're just going to get some glue glue dots. And put them on here in a couple spots. Doesn't take many. Now, for those of you who love the Stampin' Up glue dots, which I do, I I just think they're the best. Um, they're going up in price starting May 1st. So it's a good time to stock up on them. Okay, we're just going to put that down there like so. And we're going to take a couple of these. They stick together. But I just love cutting the way these cut out with the dies and getting all the colors on the designer series paper. Um, I just, I just think they're fabulous. Okay. And we're only using one glue dot on here. And then we'll take this one right here. And it's time for a new roll of glue dots. And I happen to have them. I go through a lot of glue dots. If I was using liquid glue to do this, I would have a mess all over the place. All right. So there we go. We have that on there. Now we need to do our greeting. And um, let's see, what time is it? I will do a video on how to heat emboss. Um, we're getting, I don't want to keep taking your time up, so I'm not going to do the actual heat embossing right now. Um, but I will do a video on how to heat emboss and get it on my website. Okay. I have done that one there. That is heat emboss on the Petunia Pop. <laughs> I love the name of that. And then I stamped one on white cardstock also. That is stamped in the dearest friend. You know, I can't make a decision for the life of me. I'm going to stick with the Petunia Pop theme. So we'll just put some dimensionals on here. And the other thing I have. You know, I'll, I'll see um, people just take the embellishments and they know exactly, it seems like, where to place them when they put them on. And it's like, oh, I wish I could do it that quick. <laughs> and this says Dearest Friends, so it's a great stamp set. Now we need some embellishments. And I have, okay, these are the new in colors and a resin. This is the adhesive back pearl trio that comes is part of the thoughtful stamps, um, thoughtful journey um, suite. So let's open both of these up. I like to cut mine on the sides. I get tired of um, trying to push them in all the time so I just can just take them and pull them out the side just like that so this top one would look gorgeous on there and let's see these I don't think these will do it justice we're gonna go right here with these and we'll just go on and pick three of them and we will put them around they're all one size and I see I'm gonna have to put a little bit of glue under that one and we'll put one right here too all right okay and i need to put a little bit of glue under here before i forget i didn't get enough on there earlier so there we go all right, the card front is all done. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the inside real quick. 
and that's too big so i'm just going to off camera trim my cardstock down to four by five and a quarter We're going to take now as I said we're doing this in a portrait setting so I got paper all over the place here okay and I forgot to put a back on hey we're gonna do a thinking of you fondly on the inside but I want it to stamp one of these and I don't have my um, picture on it yet. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to grab a block and show you how I did that. Okay. So here we go. This is my glass block or glass acrylic block. And I'm going to take one side of this i want to get it started so it's off and i'm going to lay this down on there like so then i'm going to take this off and i'm going to take the other side off and then i'm going to take my stamp and lay it down here now i'm just going to take my block and line up the picture with my stamp and there you go it is on there. So that is how I'm going to do that. So let's go on and we're going to first stamp the sentiment in Blackberry Bliss. I'm reach over here for one of my other blocks. And I want to get it on straight. So we're going to do that. And let's go on and just stamp that. Make sure it's inking good. Okay, I like that. Put my paper somewhat straight so that I can maybe stamp it somewhat straight. There we go. Let's see. No, there we didn't go. So we just turn it over. And it's hard for me to stamp straight off on camera like this. Okay. So we got that one. Now I am going to take my Petunia Pop. I haven't used it yet. I just opened it last night. Matter of fact, I haven't even put my um, color names on there because I wanted to show you how I did that too. And I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this kind of in at an angle. And by going that high up, I don't have to write as much. You don't have to go that high up. Okay, now I want to show you what I do to color, to name these. I take the blank color one. Okay, first I take this totally off. If I can get it off and leave all of these on here. Okay, I'm trying to leave all the names down and just take that up. Okay, I got that off. Oh, whoops, the one I wanted is still there. Okay, this is the solid color one. I'm going to take this strip and I'm going to put it in this little tray that's on the stamp pad. I'm going to go in and press it down. I didn't get it real straight, but that's okay. That way, if I have a, a bunch of different stamp pads open, I can um, see what color it is. And then I'm going to close it before I get any more ink all over me and everybody else. Then I'm going to take the Petunia Pop name. Huh, there's two of them on there. So somebody else spells it the same way we do. Then on the front here, under where you open it at this side, I'm going to take this and put that right there. Then I'm going to take this one, means it's spelled exactly the same. I can read it. Otherwise, I would look at these and 
figure out which one was the next best to take. And I'm going to put that on this end. There we go. All right. And then I had also cut me a strip of designer series paper that I want it to go just like so. And I wanted the flower coming out from underneath there. So I'm going to take and I'm going to glue this on. Now you don't have to do both. You can do one or the other. You could do nothing at all. My card classes by ladies, they like to they like finishing the inside just as pretty as they do the outside. The cards are gorgeous. So, all right. So there we go. And then I'm just gonna take this. Put my glue on it. Now, if, if you sign up for my um, emails, you'll get the newsletter and like you would get the directions to this right in the um, your inbox in the morning. It may be late morning by the time it comes, but come, there we go. Beverly says she likes the petunia pop with the white embossing. Thank you, Beverly. You have been really good for my ego tonight. You have um, <laughs> confirmed my choices. So thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. And now all we have left to do is the envelope, which we're just going to take a piece of designer series paper. We're going to take this piece right here. Uh, Now we're going to take this piece because it matches better. So I just open it up and I put glue around the edges and you know I think I'll have this side showing. I kind of like this side even though it's going sideways. The flap will be dressed. That's all that matters. We don't want to make it flap going out there now, do we? And if you want to, you can um, go on and stamp one of the stamps right in the corner there. So we press that down. And then we want to trim off any excess. So... There we go. It's just that easy to do. Okay, and what I meant by, by um, trimming, let's see. So, I mean stamping in the corner there, I'll just take my tunia pop. And I'm just going to stamp a little bit, just like that. There we go. And I had actually not meant to go up as high as I did on the inside here, but it's all glued, so it's staying. Um, but yeah, but I like that. That's pretty. So there we go. Our envelope has the stamp on the front. We got the DSP on the back. So there's our card right there. And then here's our Hello Latte card right here. So it's real fun to do. You'll have a blast doing it. You'll get to use up all your um, scraps of designer series paper and use some cardstock too and just have fun. Emboss some of the cardstock. I only embossed one of the colors. You can emboss them both if you want to, but I just thought having one done gave me the texture I wanted. And it's it's soothing to do. 
And it just takes your mind off of everything else and you'll enjoy it. Two beautiful cards. Thank you, Beverly. I appreciate that. You guys, thank you for joining me. And thank you for those who are watching my video after the fact. I really appreciate you all. And remember, my paper shares are available to purchase through April 30th at three in the afternoon that afternoon. I need to be able to get my order um, completed by that night so I can get it placed at midnight. I live in Mountain Standard Time, so that makes it nice. I don't have to stay up like the East Coast does till two in the morning. I don't think I could do that. Um, but thank you. And I hope you have a blessed week and may you have good health and enjoy your weather and whatever you do. I will see you next Monday evening. Thank you for joining me. Bye.